Domestic violence is a problem we hear all too often here in Connecticut, and now there's a push to make it easier for victims to get the help they need. Hi, everybody. I'm Sonia Bagdaddy. I'm Darren Kramer. To kick off Domestic Violence Awareness Month in Bridgeport, more than 75 community leaders from across the state gathered today to draw attention to that issue. The focus to create a family justice center in the city to help victims of domestic violence. News 8's Allie Reed takes a closer look. I think the big message today is that help is available and you have a lot of caring professionals and services right here in Bridgeport. She and others are trying to make that help more accessible. So what happens is a victim gives up and they go back to the abusive situation. Right now the Center for Women and Families of Eastern Fairfield County serves about 4,600 victims of domestic violence, sexual assault and child sexual abuse each year. But they know there are many more out there who need their help. So their goal is to turn the building into a justice center for the region so that all of the services victims need will be available under one roof. So one place where you can meet the police officer, the prosecutor, the advocate, the civil attorney, a doctor, a therapist, a counselor, it just makes it less daunting and scary for everyone. She says it makes the system easier to navigate, which means more people will reach out for help and fewer lives will be lost. We found that three individuals were from the city of Bridgeport and we always ask our advocates, were they a client of yours? Were you working with them? And um, what they've all identified is that none of the people who lost their lives in the city of Bridgeport or our catchment area even knew that they could turn to an agency like ours for free help. The most important thing they say is getting the word out that this building, this service exists here in Bridgeport. It's located at 753 Fairfield Avenue. It's open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. But there is also a 24 hour hotline available to domestic violence victims. We've posted that number up on our website, WTNH.com. Reporting in Bridgeport, Allie Reed, News 8.